start lying on your backs as we usually do. Okay, and as always, I have um, my blanket here for support. I encourage you to have a blanket or a cushion. If you have blocks, if you have a strap, please feel free to use that as we move today. Okay, but just get cozy on your back. And we're just going to spend a few moments in stillness and in quiet, which um, as disappointing as that initially feels for me because music is such a huge part of my practice, uh, maybe we can embrace this in a different way and, um, and use this time in silence to pay a little more attention to our surroundings, allowing some gratitude for any sounds that we hear around us, or if it's just quiet, soaking up some quiet, quiet moments. Okay, so join me in taking a few full deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Feels really nice to take full breaths, so enjoy some nice deep breaths. And start to just check in with yourself. How are you in this moment? Try to answer that question beyond fine or good. You know, check, check in deeper than just that. Check in with your physical body. Are there areas that you're going to want to be extra gentle with today? We're going to move slow. We're going to have a little flow and we're going to hold some poses a little longer. We'll find a little strength in the slow flow that we take as we continue to breathe and focus on the body and the breath. Anything else that's happening in this very moment. Now, um, you know that I do like to begin um, our practice with, with setting an intention and, and sharing a quote with you. And next week we don't have class um, because it's Thanksgiving for us. So I thought that today we would do a little gratitude. So we can always use a little extra gratitude. So, um, so close your eyes if you haven't already. Join me in closing your eyes. And I want you to think of a person in your life that you're grateful for. And it could be somebody that is shown up for you really recently that you're really grateful for. And if that's hard for you to think of, think of some time in the past of somebody who showed up for you when you needed them. And just allow that face to come to your mind and just allow some gratitude to fill. Now, if you can think back on, on your day so far and pull out a moment from today that you're grateful for. And I know, I know that some days it's hard to find those little pieces to be grateful for, but they're there if we look hard enough. And for some of you, maybe you're going, oh, there's too many things to be grateful for, and that's wonderful. But wherever you are, find that peace. And again, bring that moment to your mind and fill with gratitude. Inhale in joy and gratitude. Okay. 
Okay, and lastly, I'd love for you to um, fill yourself with gratitude for you, for showing up today, for just being the person that you are. person that probably gets criticized more often than anybody else. Allow some love and gratitude for you. If you'd like, place a hand over your heart, place a hand on your belly, whatever you need to do to help yourself to feel yourself fill with that gratitude. Simply setting our intention, I am grateful. I am grateful. And you can follow that with whatever you'd like, or simply just keep repeating that, I am grateful. Okay, and again, full deep breaths here. And start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe allow your head to start to roll gently from side to side. I'm going to join you on your back. Okay, start to bend your knees as you plant your feet down. And then take your arms, reach them out behind you, stretch out the torso. And again, continue to breathe deep. And when you're ready, draw the right knee in towards your chest. Okay, just hold here. From here, just slowly start to lift the sole of your foot up towards the ceiling. Okay, you can bring your hands kind of behind your thigh, maybe towards your calf if it's available, grabbing a hold of your foot. And again, just holding for a few breaths. And then using the right hand, going to allow the knee to just drop open towards the right. You can take the left arm out to the side. It's almost like we're in kind of a half happy baby here. And again, you're either grabbing a hold of kind of behind the knee or maybe the calf or maybe the foot if that's available. And from here, crossing that foot over the knee. If you can, keep that foot flexed. I'm gonna lose the socks here. Okay, if this is a good stretch, stay right here. If you'd like, draw that left knee in, taking your hands behind the thigh, maybe even to the front of the shin. Okay, hold here. If you can, try and have a nice long spine on your mat. And from here, releasing with your hands, set the left foot down onto your mat with your knee bent. And then slowly allow your legs to drop down towards the left as you come into a twist. Okay, option to take the arms out to the side, maybe take your gaze over the right shoulder.
Okay, engaging your core here, draw the legs back up to the center. You can uncross your foot and just hug both knees in here and give them a squeeze. Noticing if there's a little imbalance between the right and left side so far. And then when you're ready, we'll set the right foot down. Just keep drawing the left knee in. A couple breaths here. And when you're ready, start to slowly lift the sole of your foot up. Okay, hands wherever is available to you. So behind the leg, maybe the calf, maybe the foot. If you are able to grasp the foot, try and allow your shoulders to soften down towards your mat. And when you're ready, using the left hand, we're going to allow that left leg, the knee to drop towards the left. Again, almost like a half happy baby, just holding here. And again, when you're ready, we'll cross the foot over the knee, keeping the foot flexed, staying right here if this is good. Option to pull that knee in towards the chest. Hands kind of beneath your thigh or maybe to the front of that right shin. And getting a nice hip stretch here. When you come to this pose, feel free to do a little rocking. When you come to any pose, really, feel free to explore in any way that feels good for you. And when you're ready, release your hands, set that right foot back down. Take the arms out to the sides and gently allow your legs to twist down towards the right, taking the gaze over the left shoulder. When you're ready, using your core to pull the legs back up to the center and crossing that foot and again drawing both knees in here. And when you're ready again, hands around the right knee, take that left foot up towards the ceiling and then slowly start to lower the leg all the way down onto the mat. Keeping the leg nice and straight or if you need, keep a nice bend in that bottom knee as well. Okay, from here, use your left hand. Come into a gentle twist, pulling the knee across your body. And you can take your gaze over the right shoulder. back to the center, pause here. Every time we pause, focusing on the breath, deep breaths. And the same way we lowered this leg down, we're gonna lift it back up. So when you're ready, again, engage in the core. Slowly start to lift that left leg back up. And then draw the knee into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And we'll switch sides. Hands around the left knee, right leg lifts. Slowly start to lower it. Again, either coming flat to your mat or having a nice bend in that knee. And using the right hand to come into a gentle twist. 
gaze over the left shoulder. When you're ready, start to slowly lift that right leg all the way back up. And once you reach the top, drawing the knee into the belly, do a little rocking here. You can make some circles with your knees, massaging the low back. Make sure to go both directions. No rush. And when you're ready, step the feet down, reach the arms out behind you, stretch out the torso. And then roll yourself all around to your side, press yourself up. And we'll come to a comfortable seat here. Again, here's where I feel free to sit. On your knees, you can sit cross-legged. I always encourage, um, if you have, to sit on a blanket, cross-legged, or with your legs out in front of you, please feel free. I'm feeling the knees today, so I'm gonna just be comfy here. Just bring your hands to your thighs or your knees, and just start to roll the shoulders out. In any direction, any which way, just take your time. Breathe and just notice your body. Okay, softening the shoulders down behind your back. From here, drop the chin down towards your chest and allow your head to roll. Nice and slow from side to side. Again, checking in. And when you're ready, head back to the center. From here, we're going to take the arms all the way up. Draw the palms together, lift your gaze. And then as you exhale, take the arms out behind you. Interlace the fingers if you can. And then kind of draw the hands down towards the mat. Okay, as you lift your chest. And release again, inhale all the way to the top. Gaze up, palms touch. And then as you exhale again, hands behind you, interlace the fingers if you can, and then drive the hands towards your mat as you open your heart and breathe. and release. Okay, from here, I'm gonna open up the arms out to the sides. Then we're gonna draw the right arm on top of the left. You're just gonna wrap yourself up in a little hug here, okay? So inch your, inch your fingertips towards each other behind your back as much as you can. Once you're there, let the elbows drop. Okay, hopefully if you have, if you hold tension in your shoulders like I do, you'll feel this in your shoulders, your arms. Okay, breathe. Feel the compression against your chest. You can use your fingertips to give yourself a little massage here. Now keeping the elbows stacked, we're gonna release the arms and come into our eagle arms. 
Okay, so maybe the backs of your hands come together. Maybe you wind them so your palms touch. Okay, we're gonna lift the elbows so they're about level with the shoulders. And we're gonna hold. Feel the space you're creating between your shoulder blades. Okay, and again, take a moment to just pay attention to which arm is on top because we are going to switch. Release and just take a moment to shake it out. Okay, roll your shoulders, your neck, whatever you need to do. Drop a sweater if you're feeling hot. Put a sweater on if you're in a colder area. This is Harley, this is my mom's cat, so I'd like to say hello. When you're ready, arms out to the sides again. So I'm gonna do the left arm on top. You do the opposite of what you did last time. Wrap yourself up. Try and get your fingertips as close towards each other behind your back as you can. And then let your elbows drop, and pressing against your chest. And then you're just gonna hold here. You can certainly use your fingertips to massage yourself here. Now again, as we release, we're gonna keep the elbows stacked. We're gonna lift the arms up, bringing the backs of the hands together or wind once more to bring the palms together. Lift the elbows so they're about level with your shoulders. And hold. And almost as though you're drawing the forearms away from your face. out. And when you're ready, you can find your way into a tabletop. Okay, so shoulders above the wrists, knees, below the hips. Start to just move through a few cat-cow at your own pace with your breath. There's no rush, take your time. Okay, you ready? Coming back to a neutral spine. I'm gonna kick the right leg out behind. You're dropping the ball of your foot down. Okay, pause here. I want you to pay attention to um, the alignment of your core here. We're gonna try and keep that. Okay, so sometimes when we lift this back leg, we kind of arch our back. So we're gonna try and hold that stability here as we slowly start to lift that right leg. And we're gonna start with keeping the hips square to the mat. And then from here, we're gonna draw the knee in towards the nose as we round the back. Kind of squeeze, lift the, the knee as high as you can, and then slowly start to kick it back out behind you. Back to the neutral spine. Okay, and then again, draw the knee in. If you are on a hard surface, please feel free to pad that left knee. And again, reach the heel or the toes. One more time, draw the knee in. And kick the leg out behind. This time we're gonna open up that hip. Okay, so you might wanna come to the tips of the right fingers. You might wanna take that left foot out towards the left a little, give yourself some more stability. Hold here. And then we're gonna slowly start to lower that right foot all the way down. Root the entire foot, and then take your right arm up. 
And then reach it overhead, lengthening out that right side body. Kind of pressing into your mat with your left hand. Getting even more length. And then when you're ready, slowly bringing the palm back to the mat. Pivoting the hips and the chest back to the center. I'm getting lots of cat love these last couple of classes if you were here last class as well. We're gonna drop that right knee. You're gonna take the knees a little wider and start to do some circles with your hips. Okay, and then from here, come to the center. Then we're gonna just take a child's pose. Okay, sink the hips towards the heels, your chest towards your mat. Just breathe. When you're ready, start to lift the hips, come back into your tabletop. I'm going to take this time the left leg up behind. Okay, so start with dropping the ball of your foot. Set yourself up here. Finding a stable core as we slowly start to lift the leg. Again, you can notice if your back starting to arch. Try and draw the belly button towards your spine. Okay, then we're going to draw the knee in towards the belly. This time we are going to round the back. Knee to nose, squeeze. And then again, reach the heel or the toes out behind you. And again, knee to nose, squeeze, hold. Breathe, keep breathing. And then reach. Okay, one last time, we'll squeeze, hold. And reach. This time we're going to open up that hip, maybe coming to the tips of the left fingers. Maybe taking that right foot out towards the right. Hold. Okay, then we're going to slowly lower that left foot down. Rooting down the whole foot if you can. Take your left arm up. Reach. And slowly start to take it all overhead, really lengthening up that side body. Again, press into your mat with the right hand to find a little more length. And this time as we plant the left hand and pivot the hips and the chest, we're going to press right back to a downward dog. Okay, pedal your feet out. Breathe when you're ready. Look forward. We're going to step the feet to the front of the mat. We're going to pause here in a forward fold. I want you to take your feet a little wider so they're both the width of the mat. Okay, and then start to walk your hands towards the left foot. Again, you can have a nice bend in your knees if you need, if your hamstrings are really tight. If you have a support with you, please feel free to keep your hands beneath the support as well. I'm going to take the right hand to either the ankle or the shin. And we're going to take the left arm up. Feel free to bend into that right knee as well. Okay, slowly come back to the center, squaring the chest. Let your head hang. Just round forward in the center. And do some gentle swing from side to side. And then when you're ready, we're going to walk the hands towards the right foot. This time left hand to the right ankle or shin. Take the right arm up. Continue to breathe. And slowly lower down. Again, hang out in the middle here or sway gently from side to side. But just let your head hang. Let your head drop. And 
When you're ready, heel toe your feet in one time. So they're just a little closer. They're still a little um, spread apart. We're gonna plant the right hand and take a step back with the left. Okay, it doesn't need to be too far of a step. And again, if you're really tight, please use a support beneath the right hand, whether it's a block or a little steps tool, whatever you have, wherever you are. That's the joy of being um, at home. You can use whatever is around you. So get creative if you need to. We're gonna again, take the left arm up. Now slowly start to lower the left arm. We're gonna root down with our feet and we're gonna uncurl, come all the way up hips and chest are square towards the front. Take your arms by your sides. Roll your shoulders up and down. Pause here. Again, looking for that nice neutral spine, drawing the belly button in towards the spine. When you're ready, take your arms up, reach them up. And then on your exhale, we're gonna straighten the front leg, draw the hands towards heart center. And then we're gonna sink back into it. Okay, knee bends, arms reach. And then again, slowly press yourself up. Okay, we're gonna move through this a few more times. Feel free to keep a nice short stance or make it a little longer if you'd like to sink deeper into it. Okay, just moving at your own pace, but find strength in slowly driving into the left heel and pressing yourself up. As always, continuing to breathe. Okay, now if this is good for you, I want you to continue moving at your own pace with this. If you wanna take it a step further, you're gonna join me in sinking down, pausing here. And then we're gonna press into the mat with our back foot and come forward into our warrior three. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of bounce a little and then press and lift. Okay, I'm halfway off my camera here. But you can have your arms out to the sides, behind you, out in front of you, whatever helps you with your balance. And then we're gonna slowly Step that foot back down, inhale here, reach up. And as you exhale, bend the front knee, plant your hands, step back, downward dog. Pedal the feet out. You can start to kind of make some figure eights with your hips. I know there's no, no, there's no music to motivate you right now, so you gotta be your own motivation. Well, some of you may have music if you're lucky. <laughs> I'm just soaking up the soaking up the silence here. When you're ready, inhale to look forward again. Step your feet to the front. Pause here. Deep breaths. Again, bending your knees if you need to. We're going to plant the left hand and the right foot and take a big step back with the left foot. Okay, again, use the support beneath that left hand if you need, take the right arm up. When you're ready, lowering that hand, rooting into the feet and slowly uncurling. As you get to the top, roll your shoulders up and down. Arms are strong at your sides. Spine is as neutral as you can make it. Slowly start to raise the arms up. And then we're gonna slowly drive into the front heel as we straighten up, drawing the hands to heart center. And then again, slowly sink into it. So again, you can play with how wide your stance is here. Okay, whatever suits you best, but take your time on that drive up, find strength in moving slow. You can kind of sink fast to a slow press up. 
breathing all the while. Okay, now feel free again to keep going just as you are. If you wanna join me, you're gonna pause here. You're gonna start to get that little bounce on. Pretending that there's some good jams going on right now. And then we're gonna propel forward, taking the arms or wherever works for you and hold. And maybe wobble and shake out a bit. We're all human. We're all in places that are probably really windy, like the inside of this house, right? And then Slowly start to set that back foot back down. Inhale, reach the arms up. And on your exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands again, step back, downward dog. Pedal the feet, do some figure eights with your hips. Whatever feels good. And when you're ready, again, one last time. Inhale to look forward, step your feet to the front of your mat. Take your hands to your low back, maybe making fists here. Root into the heels, bending the knees slightly, let your head drop, and then vertebrae by vertebrae start to uncurl. Your head is the last thing to lift, and as it does, roll your shoulders up and down. Keep your hands here. Slowly start to allow your head to roll from side to side. And then bring your head to the center, taking your arms down by your sides. We're gonna do one last balance here before we come back to our mats. Okay, so we're going to pick up, we're gonna root with the left foot, we're gonna pick up the right, and feel free to just keep it hovering, maybe even the toes touching your mat, if you need that support today. You can even lift the foot a little higher, maybe so the knee becomes parallel with the hip, while we try to keep the hips parallel here. Okay, if it's available to you, bring the palms beneath the thigh, or maybe to the front of the right knee. We're gonna explore with straightening that front leg out as much as you can. Okay, have a nice bend in the knee if you need. You can also, if it's available to you, grab a hold of the sole of your foot and then start to straighten out just as much as is available to you. Again, you might have a nice deep bend. You might sink a little further, straightening the leg out. Trying to, again, have a nice long spine wherever you are. And release the foot, grab back a hold of the knee. Hold strong here. We're gonna open the knee up towards the right. Take the left arm out to the side. Okay, and then as you release that right knee, cross the foot over your left. Inhale here to reach the arms up. And then on your exhale, forward fold. Again, use support beneath your hands, your bend your knees, whatever you need to do. But try to just let your head drop. Okay, when you're ready, hands come back to your low back. Pressing into your mat with your heels, head drops, vertebrae by vertebrae, uncurl. Inhale to reach the arms up, interlace the fingers. We're gonna lean towards your right. Okay, you can even pick up that back foot and bring the ball of that left foot to your mat to deepen the stretch a little more. Okay, come back up to the center, release the arms and just step your feet back down next to each other. Shake it out if you need. And we'll do, we'll do the other side. 
Okay, so when you're ready, the right foot's going to root. The left foot is going to have a nice little root attached if you need. Maybe take a little flight. Maybe lift the knee a little higher. Hands coming beneath the thigh or to the front of the knee. Holding strong or wobbly. As always, we know that when we are balancing, it's so helpful to find a spot to just stare at. That focus helps our bodies remain steady and strong. Okay, stay just as you are. Option to maybe straighten the light out in front of you, maybe even grabbing a hold of the foot as you do so. Wherever you are, trying to keep a nice tall spine. Trying to breathe. And releasing the foot, bringing the knee back in. We're gonna open it up towards the left. Right arm reaches out. Hold here. Gaze strong, breath strong, body strong. Then as you release that knee, cross that left foot in front of the right. Inhale, reach the arms up. And again, exhale to forward fold. Let the head drop and just breathe, pause, hold. Okay, now again, hands to the low back. Press into the heels as you uncurl. And this time as you get to the top, inhale to reach the arms up, interlace the fingers. We're gonna lean to the left. And again, maybe stepping that right foot back, dropping the ball of your foot, deepening the stretch a little more. Okay. Step that right foot next to your left. Inhale here, reach up. On your exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, plant your palms, step yourself back to a downward dog. Pedal the feet out. On your next inhale, lift up onto the balls of your feet while continuing to press your chest towards your thighs and then slowly lower the heels. And again, inhale, lift up, exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, lowering the knees. And again, take a child's pose here. Use this time to reconnect with your breath. Use this time to allow some gratitude. Start to lift yourself back up. You're going to come on to your bottom. Okay. You're going to bring the soles of the feet together. And just kind of bring your hands to maybe your knees or your ankles. Trying to sit up as tall as you can. And on your inhale, you're going to reach your heart forward. On your exhale, round the back, tuck the chin. Okay, start to move back and forth, kind of like a seated cat-cow. Okay, then when you're ready, just coming to a neutral spine, taking your hands to your knees. I want you to slowly start to twist towards your right. So kind of looking over the right shoulder as you lean forward. I want you to really drop that left shoulder. Okay, inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, twist to your left. This time left, or sorry, right shoulder really drops.
Inhaling back to the center and on your exhale, I want you to just round forward. Okay, just let your head hang, your back round. Just soften into this pose. We're just gonna hold here. curl and as you get to the top I'm going to take the right knee and just kind of draw it all the way on top of the left planting the hands off towards the left just start to walk them as far as is comfortable until you start to feel a nice gentle twist okay and you're just gonna kind of open your chest here sitting up nice and tall or start to it's okay if you're off your mat too I'm well off my mat just start to forward fold if it's available to you. Lowering down onto the forearms, maybe right onto your belly, whatever feels good. Whatever's not too much on your low back as you twist. And when you're ready, pressing into the palms if you haven't already. Making your way back to the center, we're going to open that right knee back up. I'm going to pause here. Sit up nice and tall, maybe take a breath or two to forward fold here. Shift a little from side to side. And then when you're ready, sitting up nice and tall, taking that left knee on top of the right, letting your body just kind of fall towards the right and then walking the hands, just gently twisting your torso, and then option to come down onto the forearms or the belly. This time I'm going to draw both knees up to the center, taking your hands, your arms beneath. You can stay right here if you'd like. Start to straighten out your legs as much as you need. And again, just round forward, wrapping yourself up. Let your head hang. Straighten your legs as much as you'd like. start to uncurl and as you get to the top you're going to draw the soles of the feet together and then slowly make your way all the way onto your back okay, and you can have your heels close towards your sit bones or inch them closer towards the bottom of your mat whatever feels better on your hips and we're just going to hold here for a couple breaths Step your feet apart so they're the width of your mat, maybe a little wider. Do a few windshield wipers, dropping the knees to the right and then the left. Okay, and when you're ready, just coming into your final resting pose, however that looks for you. If this was comfortable, your butterfly, uh, stay here. If you want, just extend your legs, maybe bend the knees, maybe curl yourself up with a blanket. Whatever, whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna draw you in a little closer. I'm going to be seated. 
but we'll give ourselves a few more minutes of, of stillness. And um, I know some of you have music, if there are some of you like me that have been practicing in complete silence. I know my first reaction is to um, resist this, to not want this, to want the music. Um, but as we come into these last couple of minutes of just quiet stillness, can you just soak that up? Can you be curious to know what it's like to just be still in the quiet? And as you do so, keeping gratitude at the forefront of your mind and heart as much as you can. And just breathe. Close your eyes and just breathe. And start to take in some nice deep belly breaths. We start to bring in some gentle movement to your body. Maybe stretching out or curling yourself up into a little ball. When you're ready, rolling yourself over onto your right or left side and then gently pressing yourself up, coming to one last comfortable seat and as you do so as always feel free to just keep your hands in your lap but if it is in your practice i'll invite you to draw them to heart center and i'll invite you to soften your eyes and whatever piece pieces of that gratitude that you want to bring back to mind please take a moment or two to do so And now, if you'd like, um, I'd love to hear your voices. So if you want to unmute yourself, um, please feel free. I appreciate your patience with um, this, what feels a bit, what felt like a bit of a disaster not having my computer and my music with me today. Um, thank you so much for your patience and for moving with me and finding stillness with me. That's just so precious and I value you showing up um, for yourself. So thank you. Have a wonderful week, couple weeks. Happy Thanksgiving next week. I will see you guys in two weeks and I promise you, I will have my music back. <laughs> Namaste.